Here's your bro. Put your babies over here. Hello, welcome to Mirrored Recollection. This is Cassandra, my name is Warren, and today we'll be watching Peaky Blinders Season 1, Episode 5. Are you comfy? Are you comfy? And we're going to get right into it. Congratulations, Killian Murphy, for winning the Oscar. Big deal for Ireland. Yeah. Yeah. I scored some movies at the Goodwill the other day. I picked up Pocahontas, Book of Eli, Gone Girl, Four Funeral, Four Funeral, Four Funerals and a Wedding, Four Funerals and a Wedding, and Days of Thunder. I honestly felt pretty bad for John in the last episode when I was editing the video and watching him clean the car because he was all excited to take Lizzie and the kids out to the country. Something about that that just kind of hit me in the gut. But then the episode turned around quite well for him. He got married. She seems pretty cool. Is this his mother? Oh, Daniel Owen. A dusty black coat with a red right hand. I brought more things for you and the baby. Got some fresh eggs and bread. I'll leave it here. I wonder what they're doing to Freddy. Babies don't have principles. Making them bleed, we know that so far. It wasn't me who shot Freddie Thorne. I'd ask you to swear on the Bible, but you can't swear on that, can you? There's tea. It's actually hot and not for show. There's nothing worse than watching actors walk around with empty glasses or cups. Empty coffee cups, it's the worst. Ridiculous. Be like Black a star, what does that mean? Black star day. It's the day we take out Billy Kimber and his men. No one knows this. Not even your family. Grace. Everyone in my family hates me. Well, when I the want to tell them. When the cops show up, then he'll know it was Grace because he didn't tell anyone else. Man wants to sit his stall up with fellas lamping each other. He needs himself a license. How about I keep my I'm money? A new shovel license up your ass, crack. Well, you don't want to speak to me like that. And who the bloody hell do you think you are? My name! Hey, no, I can shout at me! Dad? <laughs> this guy? Oh, great. Jesus. Senior. Thank you. You're a good boy. It's always good seeing this guy. I'm pretty sure he's in Sons of Anarchy, but I've never seen that. But of course, you gotta love him from. Braveheart. Finish your sandwich and sling your hook. Pollyanna, I'm a guest of the head of this family. The head of the family, aren't you? Tommy, uh, he sometimes helps me with, uh, with business. Yeah. That's going to be confusing for his father. Speak of the devil. How are you, son? Get out. Come on, son. I'm a changed man. This family needed you ten years ago. Not now. Get out of this house. Tommy, it's different. You shut up. It's all right, son. Arthur Selby. It's the past, the past. Never stays where he's not welcome. Quite something you become. So are they going to get their tax from the boxing ring? Didn't quite... Get that answered. Voice one. He's had dead. <sighs> He's a selfish bastard. I mean, thanks to you. We're already down a bloody sister. You wanna see him, Arthur? You wanna see him? You go with him. Every week we pay one pound ten shilling by postal order to a Daniel Owen in London. Danny Wiesbank. 
I thought Danny Wisbang was dead. And you thought wrong, didn't you? But I've seen his grave. He, he was shot. Now, that was a show to satisfy the wops. Tommy just shot some sheep's brains at him. He was buried in his grave. You don't ask questions about things that don't concern you. Never. Right. That's for you. And don't tell Tommy I took this. I wonder what he needs the money for. His dad? Casinos. Money factory, son. Look. Their schemes, their systems. Look at that. Yeah, oh, all there. There's a fortune to be made here. Arthur Sr. kind of sounds like Inspector Campbell. His accent. There still beats a fluttering pulse of a dream. The Shelby Casino and Hotel. It's got a nice ring to it. How much? How much to get started? His dad's just a bullshitter, I guess. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's bloody do it. Easily convinced. I don't want to cause any discord between the brothers. So please, why don't you talk to Tommy first? Now, no, I'm sick of taking orders from him. Tommy's not the only one in the family with an head for business. And Shelby Money is Shelby Money. This is cause for a celebration. Yeah. Slanger. Slanger. On your feet, soldier. What's that one for you, then? Come on, boy. I'm old enough to be your father. <laughs> oh. Imagine what he was like when they were children. That's her! It's Arthur Shelby Jr., my son! I love him and I'm proud of him! And I can find any one of you in here! You did good, son. You did good. I love you! <laughs> Tommy's missing out on all the bonding. Mr. Shelby, my name's Byrne. A few months ago, a man named Ryan came to this place with a view to buying some goods from you. Mr. Ryan met with an accident, he was shot. I heard. Not the kind of place to make enemies. All are welcome here, Mr. Byrne. Including Irish? Oh, especially Irish. Ryan told you he was a member of the Irish Republican Army. Was he still welcome? Like I say, any man who buys beer is welcome. Perhaps you didn't believe him. In pubs, sometimes people say things. Sometimes it's the whiskey talking. It's hard to tell which is which. As a teetotal man, I find it amusing. Except when it ends in tragedy. Would you like some water and cordial? Sober as a square. Ryan, for all his quick mouth, was indeed connected by membership and blood. He was my cousin. I'm from South Armagh. I'm a man of influence there. Bring some water and cordials to the snug. Yes, Mr. Shelby. To the snug? Yeah, I'm hearing a lot of words in this episode that I'd never even heard used before. I love English, right? Your man Danny Owen talks a lot when he's drunk. He says the picky planners do have the guns. He says only the brothers know where the guns are kept. Well, Danny also says he sees German infantrymen in the back of milk carts. And he shoots them with his broomstick. Please don't mistake me for a fool. Let me get to the point. My cousin was shot. I am judge, jury, and executioner. I find you guilty and I pass sentence. You deliver the guns to me, or I deliver death and hell's fury to you and your little tribe of Athens. What's he gonna say? Let me confess something to you, and only to you. I have the guns, but they have become a burden to me. Perhaps it is time to unload that burden. 
price. Turned it into a business transaction. I mean, it's what they originally wanted. The commander of the South Armagh IRA. You hooked yourself a big fish there. Are you suggesting that you and I could work together as a team? Perhaps we have more in common than you think, Inspector. No one word put out in Ireland, but I was not involved. So I'd be solving a problem for you. And I'd be winning you that medal. <laughs> if I get a medal, I will have your initials engraved on the backside. Huh? My initials on your backside. <laughs> it's, uh, it's quite an image. Inspector, since we're getting on so well, can you answer me a question? Who gave you Freddy Thorne? Well, as everyone in the city knows, it was you, Mr. Shelby. You should use star 69 with the phone that Grace just hooked up in your bar. Maybe it'll lead you to the truth. Hello, son. Dude. It's all there. Stole all the money from his brother? It is indeed. From the shelter. We built something with the sun. Something magnificent. That was a lot of when do we sell that? Hungry for work, are you? Yeah. Ship sails Friday. His dad just had him. His dad just. just... Arthur, you idiot. I'll leave that open. And the St. Andrew's bell strikes midnight. Two IRA men are going to come through that door. They plan to kill me. It's your job to stop that happening. You could have given me some more warning. We just got the message myself. When I make a toast, you're going to come out with that thing raised. You don't shoot, you just point. I'll do the rest. You killed him? No, the police want him alive. Police know about this. Look, I'll just hold it up. Just point. Right. right it's not very good trigger discipline. But of course, we all know she knows what she's doing. Below, back here. If damage is done to either side, it's no concern of ours. It means business today. Last your Thursday. Just show us where. Make him dig up the grave. Do you think we'd let you live? Make your pace, Mr. Shelby. To barmaids, you don't count. <laughs> actually shot the guy? <laughs> I say this is gonna bring back flashbacks from the war. Where's Grace? Is Grace gonna whack this guy over the head? Oh. Oh. Yes. Oh, the spit guard. Yes. Oh, damn. He really just smashed his face in. Yes! Holy shit. Why couldn't Grace help him when he was getting choked out? I told you not to shoot. <laughs> Man, that was like some Tarantino stuff right there. No holding back. Why did you shoot? Why did you shoot? Now they're all gonna come after him. I didn't know that it didn't mean like that. The IRA is going to be on him. Oh, you seen me. And you've seen me. What are the coppers doing? Or whoppers. The whops. There they are. You were supposed to come in the fucking sixth time! They refused to surrender. They fought well, they were brave men. Well, he looks like he was killed by a wild fucking animal. <laughs> Still, this never happened. They were never here. Who cares? I'll leave you two lovebirds to it, then, eh? I'm sorry.
She's the one that should be sorry. She started the whole thing. Well, I guess technically they were down there looking for the guns, so. Oh, my darling. I had no idea he would involve you in this ugly business. If I had, I never would have let it happen. He trusts me. I told you that. Sergeant Moss made a report, which he could have burnt. He said <clears throat> that when you entered the room, you were embracing. Is that your primary concern? An embrace? No, my, my, my concern is for your welfare. It was me who killed them. I had no control. You've been living with beasts. It was the beast that tried to stop me. I believe last night something inside me. Is she gonna? St I no longer feel the need to avenge my father. I know, right? She. The she... that I brought here with me is gone. She's gonna. She's transitioning into a peaky for real. You want to resign? I think our mission has come to a natural end. She wants to be a peaky. I, I know where the guns are hidden. If I'm right and the guns are found, you have no more business with Thomas Shelby. Is that not so? Are you trying to do a deal with me? Because if you are, you must be explicit. I want your word that Tommy Shelby will not be harmed if the guns are recovered. Your word as a gentleman. Will you give it? Now, why would you want to save him? Residue of sympathy. Sympathy, you mean sentiment. They're embracers, man. Yes. You dig? His way has been kind to me. So for my sake, will you spare him? You have my word. Oh, we've heard that before. He is jealous with a capital J. Arthur is quite transparent. I learned that the funeral was attended only by the brothers, and the grave that they dug was far deeper than your average, and lined with lead to keep out the damp. That's where the guns are. The guns are buried in that grave. And tonight we will dig up that grave. For the loss of a boy that I loved as a child. <laughs> it's time we were together. Well done, boys. For I smell of the earth. All but one gone accounted for. It was a pretty weak embrace. Then, sir, I resign my commission. Good. I am no longer your superior officer, and you are no longer my subordinate. Let's go get a drink. Regulations permit me to offer you this. What the? I'm a, I'm a simple man, but a good man. You're not a good man when you have to convince somebody you're a good man. I don't ask for love in return. I just recognition that we are like minds. We're shared values. Grace. But love is the whole point. Marry me. There's no point of it unless there's love. Mr. Campbell. Let's not make this a soap opera. You deserve better. Why don't you let me be the judge of that? Is it him between us? Is it the beast that dug that grave? Is it him? My resignation will be with you in the morning. Hello, son. He's going to ditch town with the money? May I ask who gave you my whereabouts? Mars. Said you left him last night with a bill for your horse. Well. At least we got to say goodbye, son. How could you do this to us? Do what, son? All that stuff you said about the Shelby Casino and an Atlantic City. Oh. Boardwalk Empire. You're a fucking liar. And a thief. Now you give me back my fucking money. Do not despise the thief who steals to satisfy his starvation. That's in the Holy Bible, son. And I have starved for so very long. So fare thee well, son. I waited for you. I waited. Listen to me, boy. 
You've not the prize ring now. Never put your hands on me again. I'll cut your fucking throat and spread you on these tracks. The Bible also says to forgive. Right? That's what it's all about. Forgiveness. I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. Just forgive him, Arthur. Where's your father? Oh, man. How's he going to tell her this? I'm assuming he's frishing away the 500 you took from us and put into his thieving, whore-groping hands. What were you thinking? How dare you do something like that without talking to Thomas or me? Who's told me now? No. But you're going to tell him. But even though we have solved a crime, we have as yet failed to punish the criminal. This man who dug this grave has also dug his own. He has proved a deadly menace. We will rid this city of his kind. Justice will be done. I said who wants to fucking fight? My name is Arthur fucking Shelby. Who dare fight me? Go home, lad, before you catch yourself a spanking. The police are in the line, Tommy. Why do they have helmets like that so they can just ram people with their heads? That wouldn't feel good. I'm looking for Thomas Shelby. Never heard of him. I don't know. Not a good spot for that other cop to be standing. He left with the barmaid. I think they were going to her place. Call it off. Don't understand, sir. We should find the bomb I can see. Call it off! All of it! Get it! <laughs> How do you call it off? There's like no radio. You really have to like call it off and yell it out. People look different at home. In what way? Off guard. It's true. Should I be on my guard? No. I'm a man who drinks tea. When will it die down, do you think? Light outside. So not until the morning, then? Yes, I'll say I'll be here till morning. You have a gramophone. It's broken. I could still dance. Yes, why not? Why would he call it off, though? He doesn't think he can get Tommy with, without her getting stuck in between it. I don't hear the shovels against the wall. What shovel? Will you help me? With everything. The whole fucking thing. Fucking life. Business. I found you. And you found me. We loved each other. For real though, if right now he asked her to marry him, would she say yes or no? Marry me. Arthur's in a tight spot. Out at the crossroads. Maybe his father will feel bad and bring it back. <laughs> He's gonna try and hang himself? Oh shit. I love it all night. God. Oh damn it, Arthur, you can't even kill yourself right? Oh, 
It makes you wonder how many people have done that. I mean, like, literally hung, and then it just snapped right before they were about to pass out. Ideally, you want your neck to break, right? You don't want to strangle. Oh. <clears throat> send, send, send a telegram to Mr. Churchill. Tell him the business I came to attend to is now complete. I'll be leaving the city. There's just one matter I need to tidy up first. What's he gonna do? Are they gonna leave us with a cliffhanger? Is his neck gonna be all bruised up? It's a poly soldier. Yep. Polly can't not tell. Do you like fancy parties? Or, um, champagne? Or fast cars? I don't want this. Your name on a business card? Shelby. Brothers Limited. Arthur Shelby. So should bookmaker. <laughs> I just had them picked up from the printers this morning. You were one of three. Shareholders. Me and John, we quite fancy splitting your share, so just next time, he was a gunman. <laughs> oh, I'm in at the station, tell me that copper is leaving town. We're in the clear. Yeah, but what does Campbell have up his sleeve? <laughs> Ollie is all full of smiles. Like it was the season finale. Why did it feel like it was the season finale? Because it left us on a cliffhanger. No, not the. Oh, we have one more after that. Sweet. That really did feel like the season finale, but left us hanging. I mean, what could Campbell possibly have up his sleeve? What is the one last thing he wants to do? What does he want to do that he couldn't do when he saw them dancing in the window? I seriously think she would marry Thomas right now if it if he showed her a ring. Hmm. It's weird that his father was in town boxing. I wonder how long he was in town for. Arthur just so happened to show up at the at the ring to collect collect dues. I kind of really wanted to see what Arthur was going to do after that fat guy stood up to him about taxes or whatever you want to call him. I thought actually even his father was going to do something, of, but I have a feeling his father might feel bad for his wrongdoings, but even if he brings the money back, I don't think I don't know if Thomas has it in him to, to forgive him for whatever crap he put them through when they were kids. If he's willing to beat up Junior the way he did, who, goodness, who, could you imagine what he did to them when they were just kids? I remember reading about the guy who plays Arthur Sr. and how he got that scar on his face. It was like, a, like an alleyway kind of fight where he got jumped. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you again next time.